which is stronger or which one is better? Will it be Celeste Cortesi or Michelle D? So, which one is better among the two for Miss Universe Philippines 2022? This time, we are going to make a comparison video ayan, between Celeste Cortesi and Michelle D. We are going to have five categories para tignan yung kanilang uniqueness with each other. Tapos, Filipino version, kaya uh, nagtatagalog ako ngayon. And syempre, mix of English. So, bear with my grammar na lang. And without further ado, let us now proceed sa pinaka-first category, which is yung experience. Um, in terms of pageantry experience, ayan po yung uh, picture nilang dalawa uh, winning their respective major national titles. So kay Cortesi, um, Miss Cortesi, she won Miss Earth, Miss Philippines Earth way back in 2018. So nakrang po siya ni Karen Ibasco. And sa other side naman is uh, Michelle D na uh, nanalo as Miss World Philippines no 2019. So, crowned siya ni Katarina Rodriguez. So, both of both of them had the chance to represent the country uh, sa uh, Miss Earth and Miss World nung kanilang uh, time. Tapos, kay Cortesi, she managed to reach all the way uh, until nag top 8 siya. Uh, same din kay Michelle D. So, umabot siya ang hanggang top 10 sa Miss World 2019. So, both of them are very competitive in terms of um, sa kanilang experience sa pageantry. So, both of them um, managed to discover, explore, and appreciate um, mingling with other cultures, um, exploring other places. Ayan. Kaya alam na nila kung ano yung gagawin nila if ever uh, sumali sila sa pageant such as right now. So they are applying what they have learned from their past experiences para mas maging uh, more competitive sila um, in this year's edition of Miss Universe Philippines 2022. For our second category is all about physical features. May kita natin na magkaiba, there is a unique difference between the two. And let us first discuss about Celeste's, Celeste Cortez's physical features. So she is of Italian Filipino descent. That's why unique din yung kanyang overall appearance. Meski sa po yung yung aura niya, yung itsura niya, and maladyosa yung dating niya. As you can see there, very fresh. Napaka-jossa talaga kung may kita mo. Uh, alam mo yun, may, magkakaroon ng invisible splash sa face mo na. Ayun. <laughs> Ganon yung mafe-feel mo kapag may kita mo yung itsura niya. And then, kay Michelle D. Uh, she is also... Um, Kakaiba yung mix din niya dahil Chinese, a Filipino mix. Obviously, di yung apelyado niya. Chinese, uh, Filipino mix. And, ang maganda sa kanya is yung kanyang skin tone. Uh, tan. Uh, alam mo yun, yung kayumanggi na hinahanap ng mga uh, foreigner. O ba Yung mga foreigner. Or yung mga gustong magpatan ang skin. So, May kita mo na uh, unique din yung features ni Michelle Dina. Wow, papaganda ka rin yung yung aura niya. And now let's talk about the third category which is all about the vibe. Ayan, yung vibe nilang dalawa. So, for me, I believe na same sila ng vibe. Um there is a classic taste pagdating sa camera angles, yung kanilang stage presence, yung confidence level, tapos yung mga facial features, expressions na makikita niya sa photos, videos, sa stage presence nila. Um, isa yung nakikita ko na na aura na binibigay nila. So, in terms of classiness, um, pwede silang maging commercial, tapos pwede rin silang maging editorial. So, alam mo yun, yung very social, very 
regal, yung very expensive yung pinapakita nilang look. So, yes, I consider both of them classy. Um, hindi ko nakikita yung pagka-fierceness. Um, hindi katulad ng ibang candidates na iba yung confidence level, energy level na pinapakita nila. Sila, consistent yung pagka-classy uh, vibe, yung regalness ng kanilang aura na pinapakita nila. Even though, candid man na, na footage, na sightings, na photo, video, or whatsoever. Ayun, consistent silang dalawa sa pagpapakita ng kanilang uh, classy vibe. So, you can correct me if I'm wrong. You can add um, yun yung napansin ko. This time naman, let us talk about communication skills. So, ano nga ba ang difference sa kanilang dalawa in terms of communication skills? Let us begin with Celeste Cortesi. Napansin natin na there is a big improvement and daming na impress sa kanyang confidence level the way she expresses herself and the way she deliver her opinions answers sa mga interviews or sa mga candid na interviews and nasabi niya na na she is already embracing herself her uniqueness na uh, the only Italian Filipino or Filipino Italian contestant to have that unique na accent. So she has that Philippine Filipino Italian accent and ang hinahanap naman talaga is not the fluency, the way you deliver, the way you express yourself by heart. Yun yung talagang hinahanap ng tao kasi uh, ngayon binibase lang nila yung fluency mo ng English language sa intelligence. Pero hindi, di ba? The way you express yourself, the way you handle things um, in under pressure na kapag na-deliver mo ng maayos, regardless of your accent, syempre, magkakaroon ka talaga ng impact. And here comes Michelle D. So, mapapansin din natin na yung kanyang accent is Asian accent. Syempre, yung accent natin dito sa, sa Philippines, um, binibase natin sa America. But, kapag foreigner kasi yung makakarinig sa accent natin is Asian accent yung uh, pag-deliver natin ng English language. So, yung kanyang pag-deliver ng kanyang answer based from sa um, stint niya sa Miss World Philippines and Miss uh, World, um, talagang consistent yung yung kanyang pag-deliver in a calm way. So, naka-impress yung ganon. Very kalmado na sumagot. Uh, malamig yung the way na magsalita si Michelle D. And, Kapag si Michelle D ay binigyan pa niya ng more kick, more prowess, tama ba yung term ko yun? Tama ba yung term ko na yun? Um, ayun, mas nakakatapot siya pagdating sa Q&A. Kasi um, kapag na-deliver niya ng maayos with impact, with substance, ayun, uh, watch out for her. And syempre, kapag si Celeste Cortesi naman is mas uh, nagbigay din siya ng pasabog, ayun, matakot din kayo sa kanya or matakot na ang mga ibang candidates sa kanya. So that's all about communication skills. Number five is all about training. Ang current situation ngayon ni na Michelle D and Celeste Cortesi ay... Uh, super engaging in a very challenging training. It's because um, nagta-transform na sila from being uh, modest sa kanilang previous previous stint to parang bardagulan na version. So, they are now transforming themselves into a standard na tinitignan sa Miss Universe. So, may kita natin sa um, walk ni Celeste Cortesi Merong mga pakikik na yung mga, yung mga uh, nakikita natin na style sa Miss Universe. Ganun na. Ibang level na yung kanyang pasarela. Ibang level na yung kanyang styling. Dapat pati yung confidence level, ibang level na rin. Um, same din kay Michelle D. As you can see, each angle sa kanyang posture, sa kanyang video, may parang may substance. Uh, may sinasabi. So, ang dami niyang mga posts na very unique na hindi mo makikita sa ibang candidates. Tapos, post, post, yung posture niya may confidence factor. So, um, they have their own respective na, na style, na transformational approach, tapos strategy 
na made by their own glam team. And syempre, they are being managed by one of the most respected na uh, beauty pageant camps dito sa Pilipinas and also the world. That's why hindi lang Pilipino yung mga tinitrain nila, pati mga international pageant na, na candidates. So, ayan guys, yung pagdating sa training, puspusan sila in terms of pasarela, uh, syempre communication skills din, pag may makeup, tapos meron din silang um, sarili nilang presentation na kumbaga train talaga sila kung paano maging um, ambassadress, uh, paano nila i-improve yung kanyang communication skills, um, meron silang mga English lessons, and meron silang mga psychology subjects para to improve mentally, uh, emotionally, syempre spiritually, and to know more about the current events. So, kanya-kanyang pakulo yung mga training camps in order for each candidate to become more competitive. Now, we are going to make a summary. So, eto yung lima na sinabi ko kanina, which are experience, yung physical feature, yung vibe nila, communication skills, and then training. So, after this presentation, who among these two ladies do you think is really the stronger one? Will it be Celeste Cortesi or Michelle D? Kaya, yan po yung choice nyo. So, it's up to you kung sino ang talagang mas preferred mo para manalo sa Miss Universe Philippines 2022. And I am wishing these two ladies the best luck. Mwah! Ayan, if you have any more comments, suggestions, ayan, mag-comment down below lang kayo. And reach me out sa aking Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, The Story of Anthony. So, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.